Are there three top biases that you would highlight for our listeners to kind of hone in on and, and be aware of? Sure. So things like recency bias are probably recency primacy are really prevalent in sports. In fantasy football, we can rely a little bit too much and give too much weight. It's really an issue of weighting the recent performance hmm. over the history of performances. So like a player that I'm thinking about a lot this week is Brashad Perryman, hmm. who had two touchdowns with Joe Flacco on Monday Night Football a couple weeks ago. So it's like so, so much in my head, like, wow, Joe Flacco really likes him. He like totally came through in the clutch with these two big scores. But the rest of his season, you know, he's not a two touchdown a game player. We have to remember that. Yeah. Um, to some extent. So I think recency is one that will get us. And again, it's not always a bad thing, right? If you were using recency bias with Chase Claypool earlier in the season when he, when he had his first good yeah. game and you went out and got him and used him the next week, you had an even better game, right? So yeah. it worked out. Which brings me to another bias around outcome bias, which is judging our decisions by the outcome rather than the inherent quality at the time the decision mm -hmm. was made. So of course, how well the player plays on Sunday matters, but there are good decisions that come out badly for tons of reasons, right? A wide receiver who's going to catch a 90 yard touchdown, he's targeted on that play and he trips over his shoelace and falls. Doesn't mean it was a bad decision to play him because you know, like what you thought might happen, happened. Same thing with injuries, weather, you know, stuff happens that's totally out of our control. And it doesn't mean we should like never play that that player again. And it goes the other way too. You can make a bad decision and have it surprisingly work out great, right? Mm. The defender trips over his shoelace and falls down and your wide receiver five catches an 80 yard touchdown. Right. So um, we should be really careful about evaluating our decisions and also assigning credit or blame. We tend to take credit for good <laughs> decisions and blame other people for bad decisions. Like Jake Steely, our ranker at The Athletic, gets blamed for a lot of fantasy players bad decisions <laughs> <laughs> he told me to do 